New at six, a controversy in a DC neighborhood after a homeowner renovates his two story row house by adding three stories to the dwelling. DC Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live in that Northwest neighborhood with the home receiving a lot of attention. Sam. Yes, well, they call them pop up houses, where the owner takes a 12 foot wide DC row house and adds extra floors. Here on V Street Northwest, the developer has turned a small row house built in 1890. He's turning it into three condominiums. Neighbors say they noticed someone was fixing up the vacant house at 1013 V, but then it was like no other house in the row. Five stories tall. It just looks out of place. You don't like it. <laughs> Let me look at it. <laughs> no. I mean, it's just a nice street with the little row houses and then this big one in the middle. I don't know how it got through. I work from home and I just watch people walk by and stare at it all day long and they take pictures and they, I mean, it just, it doesn't fit. It is a fact that this U Street corridor area is booming. Buildings of all sizes and shapes are going up as developers seek to cash in on a hot market, where if you build it, someone will buy, and this developer is building it and bragging on it. With the uh, metal framing on the inside, so it's really well supported. It's actually one of the best homes made in the district. It's been the talk of the blogs and listservs in the area. Why would DCRA, the city's regulatory authority, allow it? We get complaints from neighbors saying that aesthetically it doesn't look uh, right for the neighborhood, but uh, the building code cares about safety uh, and stability of a building, not necessarily whether the building looks nice. At least one neighbor who put a deck and extra room on his roof is saying to the developer, go for it. You got to give them credit. They're trying to make the most of the, of the property they're sitting on. If this were Georgetown or Capitol Hill, this would never happen because those are historic districts. But this is the U Street corridor, which is not a historic district. And so the sky up to 80 feet is the limit. Reporting live from Northwest Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.